What's up Scorpio? This is going to be your love forecast for the first two weeks of January. Happy New Year. I'm filming this right before the New Year so I hope you guys have enjoyed your silly season and shout out to my girl Tara for this drunken skillet tea which I thought would be a cute funny to wear for this round. Um, this is for my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share it really does help out my channel. And if you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings, guys. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. There does tend to be a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you ever wanted to explore your options, I've put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to so many amazing psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get started. Guys, I'm going to do person on your mind. How do they feel about you? How do you feel about them? And then the projected outcome for the first two weeks of January. Bearing in mind that outcomes can and do shift, everything is energy, it's all based on your actions, inactions, your reactions, your assumptions, your subconscious and conscious beliefs that you're projecting onto the situation. Um, if you don't understand, go and look into the law of assumption, okay, everything is just a mirror everyone is us pushed out. And so if something is showing up that's unfavorable and you want to change it, you absolutely can. Things will conform for you, but it's all going to start with you and what your beliefs and assumptions are in relation to the situation. Okay, guys. So this is just one timeline and projection um, and reading on the version that you have manifested at this stage. Okay. All right, guys. So the person on Scorpio's mind manifested. I just saw the magician card. So someone might be trying to manifest you. Um, let's see. And I saw the sun card, but in the reverse. So there could be a little bit of this either lacking clarity, but then there's the nine of cups. So someone and the king of pentacles, someone could be manifesting a commitment with you, um, Scorpio, someone that you're having a lot of fun with, nine of cups. I mean, ace of swords is the lack of clarity. It's in the reverse with the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Wands in the upright. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. I saw the King of Pentacles while I was shuffling. So this is about commitments and Four of Wands, commitments and judgment card. Okay, how's this person feeling about you, Scorpio? This person is hoping to have make a decision about something very committed with you. I've got the Queen of Wands here, so there's a lot of attraction. Maybe there's been like more attraction than there has been commitment to date. And there's a lack of clarity here. Now, Scorpio, I am reading, how do they feel about you? Um, Knight of Cups is in the reverse. So either they're hoping that they can come in and make an offer or that you could make an offer for this, but it hasn't happened. The Knight of Cups in the reverse also, there's something here about maybe not not fully trusting the situation. So maybe they're picking up that that's you or maybe they're not trusting that you want this. I don't know. I mean, the judgment card would be about decisions. There's that nine of cups I saw while I was shuffling. So there's a lot of pleasure between the two of you or the opportunity to have a lot of fun, but maybe there's been indecision about like marriage or or commitment or a stable relationship. And there's a five of pentacles and a three of swords. So there's a little bit of this kind of, either there's hurt feelings between the two of you or there's some trust issues coming up in this situation around marriage and long-term commitments or stability because of like third party energy. Now the third party energy I'm picking up on, um, I don't think it's that you're dealing with a cheater or a person that is involved with someone else. And we will get, the cards on how you feel about them and then we will get the oracles. I think that this is, um, you know, you could be dealing with a situation where either this person feels like you're still nursing a broken heart um, or that's a little bit what they're kind of dealing with where they, they're they feeling a little bit insecure because the Knight of Cups in the reverse is like when we don't trust an offer, okay? So maybe there is all this romance and fun but there's a little bit of this insecurity um, and, and that might cause hurt feelings or disconnect between the two of you. So this person, I feel, look, if there has been anything that's hurt the two, you know, hurt feelings between the two of you, the judgment card is a comeback round wanting to revive this 
for something very stable. Tell me about this Ace of Swords in the reverse. What's not clear? King of Wands in the reverse. And then, okay, so Scorpio, King, King and Queen of Wands, one of the pair is in the shadow. So this person could feel that this has been more sex and attraction than it has been commitment. And that could just be a projection thing or that could be something that this person's dealt with in the past. So there's trust issues or, um, you know, maybe that's the way that they've kind of been acting in the situation, but that's because they've sort of, they have trust issues. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like maybe there's been an unreadiness to go forward and, and build something stable um, because there's been some, some heartache. Okay, there could be a fear, fear of abandonment, fear of loss. Okay, you could be dealing with someone where there has been like financial loss or something to do with a past person because five of pentacles can be literally like loss of finances or maybe they feel that way about you, Scorpio. I am reading, how do they feel about you? So maybe they've been feeling a bit left out in the cold, like you're not making a decision. And that could be because you are still dealing with some kind of a fallout, but there's a wheel of fortune and when I say fallout, I mean like emotional pain. Um, I mean, for some of you, you might still be trying to cut someone else off. But for most of you, I think this is like old issues. You both could have old issues, right? You both could have been hurt before. So there's a little bit of this, you know, trust issues. And there could be a bit of a projection. Like, is this just, is this just sex? Like we have a lot of fun together. You know what I mean? Nine of cards. So you could go out, drink with this person, have a good time, but there seems to be lack of clarity or this can be, you know, this is about honesty. So maybe there's a feeling like, are you being honest with me? But I'm not really picking up that there is dishonesty. I think it might just be fear. I don't know. Let's have a look. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Page of Swords, Magician card. So this person is trying to manifest this with you manifest this relationship, this connection and um, page of swords heavily watching you, analyzing you. So when I say that, it's like maybe even if you're between speaking, this person looks at your, your messages. Um, if you have photos together, they look at your photos or they look at you online um, and they're sort of maybe wondering where you're at. <laughs> Tell me about that nine of cups. Lots of pleasure, justice card, okay. Um, ace of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. So Scorpio, this person could be wondering, like, is this just fun and pleasure? Ace of pentacles in the reverse and the justice card. Maybe they're feeling like you're unready to really commit. Um, because justice card can be legal matters. It can be divorce, etc. So for some of you, that is what's playing into this situation. Um, either like presently that's being wrapped up, um, or it has been something in the past, but there's a sense of, you know, fear or unreadiness to like commit again. Um, maybe that's both of you, or maybe that's how this person's feeling about you. Again, I'm like reading for how this person feels about you. So the justice card is also about balance and fairness. So there's something about wanting, wanting this to be balanced. So maybe it's about getting clear Ace of Swords that you're on the same page and there's a bit of a lack of clarity. Um, Libra energy with the justice card. We've also got Virgo, Gemini, um, and the King and Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's see. Two of Wands, exactly. The justice card. And so I said they want to get clear on the direction forward. Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands, clear on the direction forward, conversation about the path forward with things being balanced and fair and decisions because justice card is decision as well. Maybe they feel that this is at a crossroads because of old third party energy or exes or financial matters or contracts that are being wrapped up. Ace of pentacles in the reverse. So this could also be money matters playing into it. There's a sense of, yeah, which way is this going? Is this just for fun? Or is this something stable that we can build together? Do you feel me? Eight of pentacles, ten of cups. This person wants to put effort in to build ten of cups. Happily ever after. <laughs> okay, or family. They have you in their sights for that. Um, so maybe it's you that's a little bit worried or scared. Um, maybe about repeating an old 
pain or you're tied up in something like in terms of finances or legal it's hard to know like I'm, I'm doing how do they feel about you I mean they could have the same thing or at least they could have been very hurt and so there's a hesitancy and you could be mirroring one another in that way do you feel what I'm saying Scorpio yeah because there's a devil card and a seven of wands this is like defensive behavior a little bit or being guarded because but you know toxic patterns that maybe this person has experienced um or you know you could be coming across as a bit hesitant or guarded and that could be actually triggering them a little bit and they're feeling um a lot of fear that they're going to get hurt um but a lot of sexual attraction again so this is <laughs> devil card nine of cups i mean maybe again a lot of fun um intense attraction this can also also be a bit almost obsessive like thinking in that way um but there's a guard you know so let's just have a look at you and how you're feeling about them okay maybe this person's also a bit like i said yeah defensive because they've had some toxic um past situations where they got hurt or they lost out some way all right or they're projecting the fear like that maybe that you're a player right how does this person feel about you i mean one is in the shadow king of wands in the reverse is a shadow king can be the player i'm just really getting that this is more so to do with past stuff being like projected into the present moment okay how do you feel about this person scorpio queen of swords do you feel maybe scorpio that this person can come across as a bit cold sometimes or detached I don't know, Queen of Swords is a bit that energy, but it's also about getting to the truth. Seven of Swords, trust issues, Scorpio. Maybe you both have trust issues. Let's have a look. Okay, Five of Cups, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords in the reverse, Scorpio. You both have the Ten of Cups. So how do you feel about each other? Possibility to have like the happily ever after, a lot of fulfillment. Right now, I mean, there's nine of cups. So you've had nine of cups so far, which is fun and pleasure. But you're both thinking about ten of cups, which is the future. Lots of spilt cups here, Scorpio. And I don't think this is about this person. I mean, maybe you, you two have interacted in some way where you're feeling regret. But what I really think is with this five of cups, this is crying over spilt milk. So you could have tried to build Ten of Cups before with a person and it didn't work out very well. It could have hurt you a lot, Ten of Swords. And instead of focusing on the Two of Cups, you're looking at this, all the shit that didn't work out and you might be projecting that into this situation. It could be creating a little bit of a wall or a block or an indecision. And then you're getting like maybe the reaction from that person and then maybe you're seeing their reaction and then you're taking that as um an indication of an assumption you're making about them do you understand what i'm saying guys i hope so anyway so there's there's some kind of a pain here you're getting over some pain scorpio okay and i'm really not getting so much that there's betrayal or pain here with this person um, this is like old pain. There's an eight of cups and the full card in the reverse. Exactly. And five of pentacles in the reverse. You're in the process of walking away from the past, like all these cups in the past that haven't served you. Maybe one specific cup that hasn't served you. Like if you're going through or you've gone through like something that was a betrayal or a divorce or legal. And so you've been feeling very unready. The full cards in the reverse, like unsure. It's a risk. It's a risk to take a leap again because you and this person both have five of pentacles. You're trying to get over feeling a loss, okay? I think you're in the process of letting go. Um, yeah, but if, you, if you're if you sort of feeling disconnected from this person, I feel you do want to come out of the coal with them. But on the other hand, you're not sure it's, it, you're feeling like things are risky or you're, you're not sure if you're ready to like take the leap for the 10 of cups. But you can change that with your mindset. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like what's fear and like if you don't want the person, you don't want the person Scorpio, but also like don't let fear be the reason that you don't, you know. Let's see, six of swords. There could be stuff to do with travel or distance or relocation here with this situation. But you're definitely moving on from a difficult time, Scorpio. And you've got knight of cups in the upright. 
They've got Knight of Cups in the reverse. So how do you feel about this person? You both have Knight of Cups, but there's, a, there's an upside down Knight of Cups here. So this could be that this person feels you're not coming forward with the, with the love and the romance because that's maybe the vibe that you're giving or they're having trust issues. They're not trusting what you're giving. Um, and then you're feeling very much Knight of Cups, like you want to give them love and, and romance and all that sort of stuff. And then we've got Eight of Pentacles. You both have Eight of Pentacles. So there's mutual effort um, that you both want to put in. You both also could be very focused on work and your career. You've got Temperance cards. So there's something about patience here. This is also healing energy. So when I say patience, I'm not saying that this can't move forward. Like it, you can continue moving forward together, but maybe there's a need to be patient with one another. Um, temperance card is tempering our own internal. So uh, dealing with what's hurt us, dealing with whatever past disappointments we've dealt with, like healing that, right? And then not projecting that onto a situation or making assumptions about a situation. So that can be the patience or the tempering because that can also put out a lot of fires or like move things in a better direction because um, there is a bit of this disconnect type of an energy. So maybe there is, there tends to be maybe a bit of hot and cold or pushback or because um, this person, yeah, there seems to be this fear on this end that, like they're not being taken seriously or maybe you feel that way about you could have had the same issue I don't know Scorpio sorry if I'm jumping around but I've got four of pentacles and the hermit card so how do you feel about them maybe you feel um insecure about it some of you you feel this person like that that they hold back a bit but again maybe they're holding back because they're they've got their guard up because of fear <laughs> But you don't have to worry too much about if they're going to change Scorpio. And that's why I direct you to the law of assumption, right? So we are, we are manifesting versions of people that are us pushed out, right? So yes, you can get a version of a person that's um, got healing to do or that's quote unquote avoidant or quote unquote hot and cold or whatever. But if you change your story about yourself, your self-concept, your assumptions, you can shift into a different timeline, a different version of you and a different version of them. So it's like, we don't have to be too concerned. I only do the reading on the energy. It gives you context and it is what's going on, but you can change it. Okay, so we've got the magician card, as I said that. So you are trying to manifest this and you both have, wow, magician card. Oh my gosh, guys, from two different decks. So this is sitting here up the top. Sorry guys that the table's not great, but Magician and Justice card right next to each other. Magician and Justice card, okay? So you're both trying to manifest this and there's a need to, to balance things. And I also think the Justice card for me, you know, so it, it could be that you're trying to manifest this and there's like legal matters at play or, or contracts or whatever that might be interfering. So there's a hope that you guys can move forward and, and that's something to take care of. Um, but what I'm getting with the Magician card and the Justice card, you're both trying to manifest something balanced, but what's interfering, Three of Swords, you guys have a lot of cross cards, is heartache. And I think that's from the past because Justice card for me is like karmic. And karmic is like this repetitive beliefs that then keep manifesting. So I don't see karma as like what maybe other readers read karma as, okay? I think like, if our thoughts are creating our reality, which they are, and if we have been on one timeline and we keep repeating the same assumptions, beliefs, right, um, and thoughts, then we keep having the same experience or the same triggers. So there's opportunity here to change that and it's all connected to past heartache, which may be now happening because if you're recreating like patterns sorry if you're acting from certain old patterns or assumptions about love and relationships it could be causing heartache between you and this person so you could be in separation from this person like maybe by distance or like the energy at the moment but it's also possible to balance that out and make it right because um, i've got lovers card here guys so there's a strong connection here soulmate connection okay yeah <laughs> Let me just see with the mystic black rose. So what does this person want with you in January? Decision. <laughs> I said that at the beginning, judgment card, decision, like decide. Maybe you've been very indecisive, uncertain, 
stay or leave. Okay, maybe you're not feeling that ready, but there is opportunity on the table here for like something very serious. Family, <laughs> as I said that, starting a family, making a home, which is the four of wands. So this person wants to make a home and it says feeling safe, security. They also want to feel safe and secure. Now, if someone inherently feels very insecure, there's no amount of anything that you can do that will make that person secure. But if you're manifesting a version of a person that's very insecure, if you change your energy, you could get a more secure version. <laughs> Just go and research the law, guys. I can't spend my whole time on a tarot channel explaining that, but it, it, it does work. But anyway, there's something, maybe they're your mirror. So you feel not safe or secure. So this is what the energy is, okay? So you need to maybe make a decision or there's a decision that's going to be made. Uncertain um, family, feeling secure, making a home. Signs, meaning, synchronicity. So this is quite spiritual um, with the lover's card. What's this? Aha, uh -huh, retaliation, getting even. Yeah, there's been some nasty stuff in the past, okay? With that retaliation energy, so... I think that that's causing like the block or the fear. Um, toxic X energy, three of swords, three of swords. You've both been hurt. The retaliation as well on a very light note, I would say is this is when energy ping pongs back and forth. So where we feel like someone's pulled back. So then we go, oh, well, I, I'm going to pull back. And then what happens is we get that kind of loop. And that's all coming from our own assumptions. Like if we feel like, oh, they're going to hurt me or they're rejecting me then you're going to act from a certain place. Do you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> what did I say? Triggers, right? Triggers. So it's all about triggers, but a trigger is not necessarily the reality. A trigger is something is in our, in our presence right now and we're reacting to it maybe from an old space. So we've been on a timeline and we are making assumptions that this is what's coming um, because that's the story, that's the narrative. Oh, I always get hurt or people leave or people cheat on me or whatever. So it's not necessarily like the reality, you get me? Yeah, ooh, okay. Giving in to pleasure. So there's a lot of pleasure here. Then we've got bottled up, keeping things inside. And then I've got influences, third parties, manipulation, others involved. So some of you, it's like there's this lingering third party energy third party energy that if it's legal or it's financial, it hasn't been wrapped up yet. It's muddling um, the, the situation. For some of you, you know, there's this feeling of with this forbidden, I don't think this is forbidden, okay? What's going on between you two, but there's a lot of pleasure and maybe that's also triggering, you know, there's this sense of not deciding or choosing like family, you know, if you're dealing with a person that wants something committed and you're not ready or vice versa, or you both are, there could be a little bit of this feeling of like, oh, is this just pleasure? Is this just, um, you know, I said that at the beginning. So it's reaffirming what I was saying. Okay. So anyway, decision. I think there's communication for sure. I mean, two of wands, decision, conversation about the way forward. Um, so it'll be up to you, Scorpio, but I hope that that made sense and resonated for you guys. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you in two weeks time. Lots of love.